I got the cutest knit. Now, I've been eyeing off this knit for so long, I finally just took the plunge and bought it today. Hello everyone, happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. It's around 1 p.m. and I'm heading off to run a few errands now, but I just got back from the South Melbourne market. Mum and I had a lovely coffee catch up there and this afternoon's pretty chilled out. Then tonight I'm going to a restaurant called Ciccone's for dinner on Flinders Lane. It's such a good one. They have the most beautiful Italian food there. So I'll definitely be getting a delicious bowl of pasta and I'll bring you guys along with us and for the rest of the weekend I don't have any plans I feel like this week has been really busy working on Frenchies so I'm looking forward to just going with the flow and taking some time off so without further ado let's get this video started and in case you're wondering this gorgeous leopard sweater is from Marge I bought it recently and I'm obsessed it's the first time I'm wearing leopard print honestly I never wear leopard but this kind of leopard works for me and then I've got these earrings on from Kristen Dior I'm wearing black jeans and my nude ballet flats from Chloe so that's my OOTD in the car I'm just about to head out to dinner now to Chaconis I'll show you guys what I order but in terms of my outfit I'm just wearing the same thing as earlier today I've touched up my makeup and I've put on a pair of heels just to dress up the outfit so let's get going she stands by the now and that was such a good meal as you guys would have seen I had the seafood linguine and I cannot recommend Chaconis highly enough make sure you visit if you're in Melbourne it's great for special occasions and just for a night out it's a really beautiful setting as well very intimate and luxurious so highly recommend then I walked back home and here I am I'm actually getting ready for bed as well because tomorrow I'm heading off to an event to an open bike event so instead of an open mic session it's an open bike session at a spin studio and it's a comedy session I should say so it's like stand-up comedy while we're all on our spin bikes at a spin studio in Richmond it's going to be so much fun and something a bit different which you know I said coming into 2021 that I wanted to be more spot spontaneous and to try new things and here I'm doing something different so I'm really looking forward to that I won't be bringing my camera along but I'll definitely let you guys know how it all goes but I thought I would just check in with you all and say good night before I head to bed happy Saturday everyone it's around 1 p.m. and I just got back from the open bike comedy session which was so much fun they were actually testing out the format of comedy at a spin studio and I can recommend it honestly it was a really just good way to start my weekend so now I'm actually heading into the city to grab a coffee yes it's one o'clock and I haven't even had a coffee yet who even am I? So let's go grab a coffee and we'll see what else comes up for the day. I'm still in my active wear because why not? I told you guys last week that I started reading the after series. I finished the first book and now I'm up to the second one, which is called After We Collided. I've actually borrowed this from a friend, which is really great. So I'm already up to, where am I up to? I think I'm up to page 30. So this is what I've been up to this afternoon, just chilling out in bed. I've got my blanket because it's a bit cold today and a good book to read. 
it's a little bit later on now it's around quarter to eight and I'm actually just waiting for a takeaway order I went to Happy Valley I believe it's called that it's at the Albert Park Hotel it's a Chinese restaurant and they have incredible food I actually tasted it back in lockdown I ordered takeaway from there and it's on the list to go back again so that's where I'm getting my dinner from tonight but in the meantime I thought I would park at Port Melbourne Beach and just watch the sunset because it's such a beautiful night and it saves me going back home and then going back to Albert Park again thought I'd just do something a bit different a bit spontaneous so that's my plan for tonight to have takeaway and chill out and after a big week I feel like I really needed this we just picked up the takeaway it smells delicious I don't know how I'm going to go driving back home knowing it's in the boot but I'm putting it in the boot so I don't pick it at bon appetit Happy Sunday fun day everyone. I've had a super relaxed Sunday morning, which I needed. So I'm feeling very just recharged after this whole weekend. It's been so nice and relaxing, but I'm ready now to go and grab a coffee. I really need one this morning. So let's go for a walk into the city. I feel like it's going to be a really nice day. The sun is shining. So I've put on this gorgeous forever new dress, which I'll show you in a second. I've worn it a few times already, to be honest. I'm guilty of outfit repeating because I love it so much, but I feel like with the weather like this, I have to make the most of summer and wear my favorite summer dresses because soon the weather will get colder and when it's winter, I'll just be in sweaters every day. So let me show you my outfit of the day. So I've got my Gucci sneakers on with this forever new dress which I bought for Christmas Day, so in 2020, and I've worn it so many times since. It's been a great investment, and it seriously reminds me of Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. It's so cute. So that's my look of the day. Just bought the cutest knit from Polo Ralph Lauren at the Emporium. I can't wait to show you guys, but it's this gorgeous pink knit. This is how busy it gets at the smoothie place that we go to at the South Melbourne market. So good. Smoothie time, peanut butter and jelly smoothie from the Village Juicery. She wanders around quarter past three and I'm back from the South Melbourne market where I got a smoothie for lunch. Now I want to show you guys what I bought earlier on when I went shopping at the Emporium and David Jones because I bought two beautiful pieces from Polo by Ralph Lauren. I first went to their store at the Emporium and I got the cutest knit. It just reminds me of like Legally Blonde. It's very preppy and just my favorite color pink how cute is this and it looks so nice and warm as well if you know me you know i love winter fashion and i know this will be a staple in my wardrobe because you can also put a blazer over it if you want to rug up but then if it's a warmer winter's day you know it's got the short sleeves so i feel like this is going to carry me well into winter and I can't wait to wear it even this week. So the second item that I bought, it was again from Polo Ralph Lauren, but this time from their store at David Jones. So different packaging randomly. Now I've been eyeing off this knit for so long. I finally just took the plunge and bought it today. It's the knit that has the American flag on it. And I just feel like it's a real Ralph Lauren classic, one that I've always wanted to add to my collection and I'm finally ready to do this. Now, a bit about me and Ralph Lauren, I've always loved their stuff. I bought it from a young age. It was one of the first brands that I really fell in love with and that really got me into designer fashion. So I actually started my designer collection in my teen years with some polos from Ralph Lauren and then I moved into some cardigans, some sweaters and I slowly built that up. So Ralph Lauren was really the first designer brand that I fell in love with and I still always keep my eyes out for, you know, their kind of 
their Polo by Ralph Lauren collection because I feel like there are always some nice key pieces there that you can just add into your wardrobe. Like they're very wearable and the pieces that I've bought over the years, I wear even today. So they do really last and they're classic. And I think these are all of the things we should think about when we make purchases, especially designer purchases or investments. You wanna make sure that you're buying something that you know is going to have that longevity and I feel like this is a great brand when it comes to that. So, this is what I bought. I'm so excited. How cute is this? I love the white or the cream, I should say. It's more of a cream, I guess. I just feel like I don't have any knits like this and oh, it's just gorgeous. I love the flag on it as well. I'm not American, but you know, it's just a really cute look, really classic Ralph Lauren, long sleeve, super cute. They also have it in navy, and I might go back and get it in the navy just because I feel like it's a different look. This is more of a fresh kind of, you know, it reminds me of like a beachy kind of look, but it can also be quite a preppy look too, whereas the navy is very much more kind of formal. I think this is very casual with blue denim jeans or white jeans. Oh, I love it. Can you tell I'm like obsessed? So this is really exciting because I've been eyeing this off for a long time, as well as their knits that have the teddy bear on them, the classic teddy. So that's another, that's another one that I might get in the future, but I'm really happy with my purchases. Just wanted to show you guys in case you love buying clothes like me. That's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button. Come and join the Frenchie fam. I would love to have you guys on board. And a big shout out to all of you guys who watch these videos every week, who leave comments down below because I love reading and replying to your comments, getting to know you guys as well. Like, you know, this is all about community for me. So share something about yourself, introduce yourself if you haven't already. Already. I would love to meet you here on YouTube and I'll be seeing you guys in a brand new video next week. Take care, enjoy your week and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!